So first up, Bitcoin will break out this year, says DeVere, CEO. And uh, I'm always looking for big institutions that are talking positively about Bitcoin. And I know it's not the uh, most exciting technology. It is, uh, you know, 10 plus years old now. But uh, from what I've been talking to, from what I've heard about, Bitcoin will still pop because it is on the minds of every big institutional investor. Now, all the different things that are going on with DeFi, that is the new generation, I think. Now, can that actually sustain? <laughs> I personally don't think so, but only time will tell. Anyhow, what's going on here? So DeVere Group CEO Nigel Green predicted last week that the U.S. presidential election and a weak dollar will drive the price of Bitcoin for the rest of 2020. I think it's that, those two factors, plus quantitative easing, which is going to lead to Bitcoin being massively pumped. Following the Federal Reserve's policy shift on inflation, in case you don't know, the Fed wants to massively, not massively, but it wants to let it run hot as far as inflation above 2%. And of course, when we see inflation, uh, that means a opportunity for Bitcoin to start to rise up. And of course, where Bitcoin goes, so does the rest of the cryptocurrency market. He also warned about investing in the stock market, which I think is interesting because that is what the VAR is all about, stock markets and pensions and things like that. The Vera Group, established by Green in 20, 2002, describes itself as one of the world's leading independent financial advisory organizations. More than 10 billion assets under management or under advice from 80,000 clients in 100 countries. And I had to take a look at the website to see what this place is all about. And it, it's just, you know, the basics, you know, basic website. But what I found interesting well, under products and services, it talks about here, international pension planning. If you know anything about pensions, there is a real problem with them across the United States, actually across globally. And I've always said, if pensions get in the game, watch out, because that is a huge amount of capital to come into the cryptocurrency digital asset market. So I'm hoping these guys will be on the forefront of going, hey, you know what? Let's try to push, you know, one to 5% into this asset class, which is the best performing asset class of the decade. Just saying. All right. So scrolling down. They talk again about U.S. presidential election. Always there's uncertainty, but I got to tell you, this one is going to be the most uncertain. I believe, personally, if Joe Biden gets elected and he becomes the president, you will see the stock market drop because Donald Trump has done great things for the stock market and all his of his friends. Let's be honest; he's got a lot of he knows a lot of rich people, and uh, with the tax cuts, he's done uh, big things. And that has pushed up the market. Now, I'm not here to debate anything as far as like uh, the politics of it. I do not care. All I care about is where is the price going to go. And if you see Trump get reelected, who knows, then I think that the stock market will uh, push a little bit. I don't think it can, it can continue this nonsense, especially with the Fed going, hey, we're going to let inflation run a little bit hot. But if we see Biden come in there, it's going to tank a little bit. Is that a bad thing? Not so much for us. It doesn't really matter for us because it's all good. All this uncertainty is good for us, cryptocurrency digital assets, because it allows people to go, you know what? That economic policy that we have here in the, in the United States, which is actually causing problems throughout the globe, is screwing things up. So where can we go to uh, a safe haven asset that has no boundaries, is not influenced by any government, and has an economic hardening of its financial backing? Well, guess what? You can't print Bitcoin, so let's go with that. And then, of course, they get in, then the floodgates open, cryptocurrency and assets. That's just my thesis. Anyhow, so you have the presidential election, you have the coronavirus, and quantitative easing. And, of course, he says here, as uncertainty heightens, investors will pile into safe haven assets, in particular those not tied to any specific country, such as Bitcoin and gold. And I have to agree. I think the new uh, savings account is gold, silver, Bitcoin, but just an opinion. Decentralized, I never heard this before, non-sovereign. I mean, I've heard the, the phrase, but I never heard non-sovereign with cryptocurrency digital assets. I'm going to start using that. Decentralized non-sovereign, meaning not having to do with any type of country. Secure digital currencies, including Bitcoin, will become more attractive to investors as they will offer a hedge against turbulence in traditional markets. And this is the same thing that uh, Shamath Pelihipatia was talking about. He calls it schmuck insurance. And that's why we should get Bitcoin, because it could pay off massively when all the economic policies start to fall around us. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen, even if it doesn't collapse. I don't think that the dollar is going to totally wipe out you know, for the uh, reserve currency of the world. But I do see a lot of turbulent times ahead. And when there's turbulence and uncertainty, where can you go? Safe haven assets. Anyhow, the DeVere Group CEO added printing of historic sums of helicopter money that's pushing the financial system has devalued the dollar and prompted an 
inflation fears, emphasizing you can't print Bitcoin. And of course, I just kind of stole that from him. But uh, it totally makes sense. So I'm going to add these guys, Devere, to my institutional investors uh, when I talk about everything else. So some of the people who are in the space, Fidelity with their 8 trillion assets under management. You've also got a Ameri Ameritrade with 1 trillion assets under management. And you got the gold bugs, Van Eck with 49 billion AUM. And uh, these guys were heavy into gold and they say, you know what, as good as gold is, uh, Bitcoin's even better. And they lay out the whole case. Paul Tudor Jones, 21 billion assets under management. And he put 2% of total investments into Bitcoin futures. This was on May 8th. And he is apparently a legend on the stock market. So when people take a look at, well, Paul Tudor Jones is doing it, I'm going to do it and then off they go and of course grayscale with the, who are massively buying up bitcoin in droves then they they purchased like 75 percent of all bitcoin in the last couple months and then lastly micro strategy just came out and said hey we're buying 21,000 bitcoin and this was uh this month or actually i guess last last month because it's September 1st so they own 0.1 percent of all bitcoin and the ceo stated, hey bitcoin's digital gold harder stronger faster and smarter than any money that has preceded it and these guys if you don't know uh they just deal with computer analytics and data processing so uh i my theory is that they probably took a look at all the different analytics that they have and data and said you know what it was really going to be good and really going to happen pretty fast bitcoin let's get into that and they bought a ton of it all right so that's it for that section let's move on